So this is the big six of SQL querying. We have select, from, where, group by, having, order by. If you can learn these six things, it really unlocks a lot of potential. So we recommend all beginners start here. It all starts with the select and from. So let's simplify this a little bit. Anytime you're learning the big six, always start here with select and from. The select statement will contain the names of the columns that you want to return. In this case, we're asking for customer ID and rental ID. And then you'll also name the table from which you want to return those columns. So when we run that, you can see we get the columns down here in the result grid, customer ID and rental ID. And you'll see we just have a ton of values here going up to customer ID 599. Let's say we wanted to just limit to a certain number of customers. So uh, we could say where customer ID is less than or equal to 100. This would limit to the first 100 customers in the database. So now when we scroll through the results, the largest customer ID value we have is 100. We use where conditions all the time. You can look for date ranges. You can look for specific values, ranges of values. Next, let's add a group by and we'll do some segmentation analysis. So we'll add a group by and we'll say we want to group our data by customer ID. Once we've got our group by in there, we can introduce aggregate functions. So count is one of those aggregate functions. And what we'll do here is we'll be grouping the data by customer ID and then we'll be counting the number of rental IDs that each customer has. And I will use an alias here and I'm going to name that rentals just to make it more intuitive. So take a look at the results here. What we've got now is one row for each customer. And then we've created this aggregate metric, which we're calling rentals, which is counting the number of rental IDs that are associated with that customer. So customer one has 32 rentals, customer two has 27, et cetera. And we've done that again by creating this aggregate metric using the count function and counting the rental ID values and grouping that by customer ID. Let's say we only wanted people that had more than 20 rentals. So we'd get rid of this 97 here we would get rid of um, this customer ID 70 here who only has 18. So to do that, we use a having clause. And having is just like a where, except it operates on group level criteria. So we'll say having count of rental ID is greater than 20. Now when we run that, we're only gonna be pulling back customer IDs that have more than 20 rentals. So you see any of those lower values got removed. And finally, if we want to reorder this data so that instead of being listed by customer ID, it's listed by the count of rentals, we'll add an order by clause and we'll say count rentals. And when we run that, now we'll see the smallest number of rentals is at the top and the largest is at the bottom. If we want to reverse that, we can do that with a descending. And now we've got the largest values at the top starting with 41 and we've got descending values coming down from there.